welcome to the Hub Lab. You are very welcome to my space, but the good thing about everything that we do here is that you can try it in your space. And a lab is basically wherever you're doing science. So it can be outside, in your granny's, with your dog, wherever you're like. Today, we're going to be talking about some normal things and some not so normal things. And I don't mean me and Skelly. I mean things that are materials or substances. And you may have heard of these things before. They are solids, liquids, and gases. A solid is something that has a definite shape and volume, the amount of space that it takes up. A liquid has a definite volume, but not a definite shape. It generally takes the form of whatever container you pour it into. And gases, which have no definitive volume or definitive shape, as in they go all over the place. Like scary. So what we're gonna to talk to you about today is like things like that. So solids like tables, hard stuff, liquids like water in here, and gases like the things that might come out of you at some stages uh, after eating particular amounts of beans or other gaseous substances. But what we're talking about today is a magical substance. It's a wonderful substance. It's one of my favorite things. It's a non-Newtonian liquid. It's custard. I know, I like custard, look. Oh, it's so good. Custard is one of my favorite things, not because of just how it tastes and how you can, it's perfect with everything, even crispies or anything, but how it's a non-Newtonian liquid. It is something that is a solid or behaves like a solid or a liquid, depending on how much stress or force you put on it. And we are going to make our very own non-Newtonian fluid today with cornstarch and water. And what you'll need for this is cornstarch and water, but also like a bowl to put it in, uh, a spoon and something to mix it uh, around it. So what we have got, we're going to take uh, some corn flour and we're going to add it in for every one and a half bits of corn flour that we put in, we're gonna put in about one of water. So if I take this amount of corn flour and put it into this. Now the thing is, well, you don't have to measure this one just out exactly because you can always add in more corn flour or water. And it actually has a brilliant name. If you've ever read Dr. Zeus, there's a name and it's called Oobleck, which sounds like oozy, like Oobleck. It's kind of fun to say all the time, so I will be saying it for the rest of the episode. I will be saying Oobleck as long as I can. And because I'm making blue food, blue Oobleck, I'm gonna call it Bluebeck. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this blue food coloring into this, which is gonna look fantastic. That is generally the favorite part of the experiment, as you've seen before. So we have mixed it in. So I'm gonna pour it in a little bit into this. So not much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna get my hands dirty. I'm gonna get my hands in and I'm gonna start mixing it around. And you'll start feeling it when you start doing this in a dish that it's kind of hard to mix. And this is exactly what's happening with a non-Newtonian fluid. I am putting a stress on it. I'm adding a force to it by mixing it around. And by trying to move it, I'm adding stress to it. And you'll find that it's really kind of hard to do. And you will know when you need to add more water is when you've run out of things to mix in it. So if I now take another bit of water and add it in, just a small bit. So like I said, this is gonna behave like a liquid when there's nothing happening or force being put on it and a solid when we put stress on it. So the way it's behaving now is quite like a solid because I'm putting stress trying to mix it. And you'll know that you've got it right is because when you move it around in your hands like this, see the way it stays in a ball because I'm putting stress in it? But when I stop moving, it flows like a liquid. And this is not normal behavior. So normal things are like kind of solids, liquids, and gases. This is a non-Newtonian fluid, so it's behaving a little bit different. Now, just to show you exactly how this behaves, I'm gonna add a little bit more into this to make it a little bit thicker so that we have uh, a little bit more, I suppose, volume, as I were talking about earlier on, the amount of space that this is gonna take up. So I'm gonna mix it in a little bit more, so it's a little bit, because I want to really put some stress onto this. And I don't mean like giving it an exam or um, asking it hard questions. I'm going to put stress on it by using another one of my favorite uh, apparatuses to use, which is a, a little mini hammer. Okay, so this is my experimenting hammer. So what I'm gonna to try to do is, normally when you would hit a liquid and you would hit it, it would spray everywhere. Now what's supposed to happen is this, when you put this stress on this, it's supposed to behave like a solid. So when I hit this, it shouldn't spray everywhere. And I trust in science because I've tested this before. It always works. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. See, it doesn't spray anywhere. Even though you saw the amount of water we put in. Look, you ready? One, two, three. Nothing. Now don't hit too hard because you might go through the table, but Again, 
Try it at home yourself. Be careful, of course, but using, I think, maybe try tapping with the spoon first if you want. You can play a game as well if you want to see how quickly. You get marbles, you can put it into this. If you put marbles into it, then you can play a game and see how quickly you can get them out. And if you go, try to go really quickly, it's actually kind of hard because the faster you try and go, the harder that the liquid pushes against you. But if you find the slowest speed and you can kind of pick them out and then you can have a race with your family and friends. There you go. A board table topic game, which is non-normal. It's non-Newtonian. It's oobleck. It's blueblack. It's brilliant. Try it yourself. Have fun. See you next time.